What is up, all you Stone Cold Superfly, Illmatic, Fish Keeping, Fish Tanking, Funkadelics. You watch Aquafunk Aquatics with me, Aquafunk. You know what? Let me tell you about the fish that I changed out now because it's pretty. If, if you're familiar with my channel, you're gonna notice immediately the one fish that definitely got changed out, and that's the um, Gold Seven. I knew from the beginning the Gold Seven wasn't gonna be able to stay in there. Um, and he got to a point where he was just getting a little bit too rowdy, and I saw a, little, a couple of fins being nipped. So I went ahead and put him in with the Oscar. Um, he's fine in there. Um, I also took out my, um, my uh, it, it was a four line Pictus, uh, which is a catfish, one of the long, um, with the long uh, whiskers and stuff like that. He was not, he, he's not a problem, but at his size, his demand for food made him a little bit overly feeding aggressive. He wasn't aggressive, mind you, I'm saying he's not aggressive. He was just aggressive eater to the point where he pushed the other fish out the way. So I went ahead and put him in with the Oscar too. Um, I'll show you that tank in another video. Right now, we're talking about these guys. So let me flip, flip it around and, and, and show you these fish individually. All right, so here we are. I flipped it and flopped it and it flipped it you. And you can see my glare. Hey, how you doing? How you, I see you and I see you. and I, Anyway, don't mind the glare. We're talking about the fish here. That's what's important. Let's talk about... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the first fish on the menu would be whoop, Not you fish that little polar blue cichlid out there. You see that little polar blue cichlid the hybrid He just went behind that heater that I was telling you about earlier. So we'll get back to him Let's talk about boom, This blue car electric blue car. I did a video on him. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below um, on the, where he comes from, where people assume the electric blue cars come from, um, the verdict's still out. But that's him, he's grown real nice. Um, you can't tell in the video, but he has, oh there it is, you see like a reddish sheen to him. And uh, I wanna say it's the lights, but I can't really say that um, because when I got him at the pet store, he had a reddish sheen to him. So yeah, he's. I'm loving him right there. Look at, look at how pretty he is. I love him a lot. I, I'm really impressed with that with that dude, the way he's coming along. Can't wait to see him in another year from now. You know, um, let's talk about another car that we have in here. Boom! There is a little black car right there. He got into a little scuffle with somebody. Let me back it up. Come on, back there we go. A little black car right there. He's got into a scuffle with somebody. Um, he probably hit himself on the driftwood. And that's a fish that we got. Me and RLC Aquatics got when we went out native. Oh, someone's got a popo coming. I hope they ain't coming for me. I feel like I'm back home in Brooklyn, but I'm in Florida. All right, it's gone. So anyway, that's that right there. That's the um, yeah. See, he's getting he, he's 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 trying to be bullying somebody, and they ain't having it. Um, that's a um black Acara that we got. I hope he's okay. I hope he comes out all right. This is the first time I'm seeing this. It must have just happened. Um, yeah, he'll be good. Where's the little, you know what, let me put some food in here. I bet you that little polar blue cichlid will come out. I'm really happy with the polar blue cichlid. There we go. Some brine shrimp. Some brine shrimp. Okay, where you at, polar blue? Okay, polar blue doesn't want to come out. So let's talk about these angels. I got two angels in there. Now these angels are both male. And I know that 100% because they both had females at one point. And that one... And that one did a very strange thing. They killed their females while trying to protect their eggs. That's a downfall. That's 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 something that if you're if you're gonna breed angelfish and you're gonna put them in 20 gallons um, with no decorations, that's gonna be a possibility because the 20 gallons not that is good for breeding, but it's not that big, so the female can't get away or the male can't get away. Um, whereas within 29 with some plants, it's harder to keep clinically clean if you have decorations and plants in there but in case uh, fish want to get aggressive it helps and there's a little polar blue now let me tell you about the little polar blue the hybrid this little dude he's a convict at heart so he has no problem being out in the middle of the tank I've seen I've seen other fish try to um, press him like the, the blue Acara tried to press him before and uh, he, he wasn't putting up with it so I'm really really happy with him I got him from Rob 93 Rob I appreciate him I'm, I'm really I'm really digging him right now um, 
<clears throat> but these angels. Um, you know, I, I've been thinking about angels a lot lately, and um, how to categorize them, how to um, size them, how to describe them. And there's something that I've always um, wondered is that people always say, <clears throat> "Excuse me, this angel gets ten inches um, top to bottom." Like if that's how big it is, or this this angel um, gets uh, this big top to bottom. For instance, this veil, he's probably gonna get eight inches top of the fin to the bottom of the fin whereas that one right there probably 10 inches from top of the fin to bottom of the fin now that does not really accurately tell you how big it is because like I said one's a veil and one is a standard now this one could have a larger body mass that one just could have a smaller body mass but just longer fins so I wish they came up with a better way of sizing angels just using their body mass for instance um, the circumference of you know the circular the body part from the um, let's say the back of the eye to the base of the tail you know because um, that's never going to change um, on the fish you know depending on if, if it's veil or whatever it's always going to be the same proportions so I, I think they should change this glare um, I mean the focusing come on focus boom we focused um, that's never going to change so I think they should change that. I think they should measure angelfish from the circular part of the center of their body. That's what I think. But that's just me. Hey, look, I got a little albino female bristle nose in there. <sighs> as long as it's not a male, I'm all right with it. Um, that one I got from Shell Shock Aquatics. He sent me four of them, and over time, that's that's the lone survivor. Um, she actually is doing well, and uh keeping this tank nice and clean she's also a scavenger so the bottom especially being pretty much bare as you can see here it definitely is in need of some sand it had sand but then the sand just went away check out the altar fronds geophagus altar fronds geophagus means earth eater that's because what they like to do is they like to take mouthfuls of dirt or sand or substrate and sift small particles of food out of there and I have the this is the Geophagus Altifrons right there. Colors are coming in really nice. I'm a little disappointed in the finish, but that fish right there can get mm, probably up to 10 inches. So it's got plenty of time to grow, and hopefully their fins, her, his or her fins come out. This is the Geophagus Heckali. Woo, come on, focus, focus, focus. I don't want to focus. All right, let me stop for a second. Okay, it focused it in now. Oh, the heck of I went away. But we can talk about the Geoporis, the two little Geoporis you see right there, right there. Geopori. I got two of them in here. Now that one was in the 10 gallon tank that had to be removed because they was tearing up the tank. Um, where would the other one be? Of course, the other one wants to hide. But that, there they go, there they go. Now those jokers could get up to 12 inches, you know, from the base of the mouth to, and those are called demon, um, Demon geos for some reason. I don't know why because all there's a heck of a lie right there I don't know why they call that that geo the geopori a demon because it's actually a very nice fish All all geos are pretty much very nice Community fish as long as you don't put nothing in there that'll you know that they can um, swallow that's how come I'm, I'm cool with the The little little polar blue in there because he can't swallow nothing nothing can swallow it I'm sorry, but uh, I'm really excited to see these guys get bigger one is definitely the dominant one um, as you can see right there Woohoo! and that little that little black acara I did get it from Florida but it is an invasive species so it's not supposed to be here but it is apparently it's out here prevalently too and you can see right there where the plants start to die off you see that plant the leaf dying off but I got a whole lot of baby plant growth a lot of it you see so I'm gonna see what that ha what happens with that. The, the roots are growing really well, and I'm gonna see what where that leads me. So yeah, there it is. That's that's my 50 gallon. Um, let me flip and flop and flippity flop you guys around one more time. So yeah, that was a 50 gallon that was inspired by a lot of you guys' community tank. I used to I used to pretty much have species only tanks, only angels, only this, only that. Um, but I kept looking at how you know how nice everybody's tank looked. 
So I felt like for my live streams, I want to give you guys something nice to look at, something interesting, something lively. And uh, I think this this tank fits the bill. Um, I still got to put sand in there. But other than that, I really don't see no changes um, going on. Now, you know, those geos are not going to be able to stay in there. Maybe the heck a lot could stay in there. Maybe the heck a lot. Um, the, the blue a car and the black a car, they could probably stay. Um, but the two, the Alta Fronds and the two uh, Geopolarize, they're going to get too big for this tank. And uh, probably going to have to get a bigger tank because I'm not going to get rid of them. I took, I took the responsibility of getting them, so I'm going to probably get a bigger tank when the time is right. I already have two fish in the, um, in the um, dugout waiting to get bigger tanks, so I might just get a big enough tank for all of these fish. If I can sneak it in the house with my old lady that work. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think about this tank. Um, you know, I, I, I know the stocking pre is pretty much stocked, especially when these guys get bigger. But if I'm going to be rotating the fish out when they're getting bigger, what else would you put in there? I don't have, right now, the only thing I'm using for um, bottom feeders is uh, the Geos, which do a great job, and that, that, um, that Pleco because I took the catfish out. Now, I do want to get me some spotted Pimadellas or spotted Pictus. Um, you get them pretty cheap at the big box stores um, because I really like to pick this catfish. They don't get too big. They're not really all that aggressive. I do keep seeing geos pop up all over the place. Like if I could ever find me a albino, um, albino altafrons or albino um, hecali or even um, a red cap geo, they will probably end up in this tank <laughs> knowing that I'm going to have to eventually move them out. But... I don't know, Geos are really growing on me. I'm not gonna get rid of angels. I'm gonna have them in, in conjunction with angels because they do so well together. So if you were thinking about what type of fish to put with angels, there you go. You know, you can do this with a 55. Same types of fish. You just have to keep in mind that some of them may have to be rehomed. So you might want to stay away from the bigger Geos, but the Hecali, the Okaras, um, they do just fine. Anyway, that's my time. I want to thank you for coming out, and like always, take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your fish.